Hey there folks, the cheese here. I'm just out hunting some European rabbits today, so I figured I'd show you guys some of my hotspots here on the Hirschfelden Hunting Reserve. Today I'm hunting by the Rothenfeld Outpost. Once you leave the Rothenfeld Outpost, if you head directly south, continuing down the trail, it'll bring you to an opening that you can see down the hill and just down the hill there's often mounds at the very far edge See, as we get to the edge of the hill here, there's uh, quite a few tracks. Uh, there's a roe deer out there. It's quite a good spot, hot spot for most animals around here, actually, in Hirschfelden. And yeah, as you can see, the mounds are down at the very far edge. It's hard to spot the, the rabbits from this far, but you can usually see them once you get within 100 meters or so, I'd say. So we'll just go ahead and put the roe deer down here. It shouldn't scare the rabbits from this far. There we go, he's down. That should be a perfect heart shot. Kind of creep up here. See, as we're still a ways out, you can't really quite make out that there's any rabbits there. You just see the mounds and kind of go off of that, try to get as reasonably close as possible. And hopefully they pop up soon here. And see, we're probably at about the 100 meter mark maybe a little closer and see that this first spot we're heading up is probably the best because there's quite a few mounds and there's always at least 10 to 12 rabbits here little road here outside here But the tricky thing with these rabbits is I, I've never tried hunting them with the shotgun yet. Uh, but I got the package with the the weapon package with the 22 and that, that seems to be what I use. Just uh, can only get one. Usually unless you're pretty quick swinging over with the 22. And see, I'm not sure what a diamond European rabbit is, but they're they're not very big. The biggest I've seen is maybe a two kilogram. There we go, one down. Oh, see, they they get to their mounds pretty quick. You got to be pretty quick on the draw if you want to get more than one for these little critters, unless you can sneak up close enough for the shotgun. Guess we'll go ahead and claim our roe deer here. Uh, nothing special, but he's a nice, nice little buck.
Now the next spot we're going is literally just up to the northwest here. Maybe a 500 meter, 600 meter walk through the fields and trees here. There's a little tree stand right here. And they got their mounds just up to the west from there. So the next spot we're heading up to is just up to the west here. Um, if you head up the road, it'll bring you right by there. Their mounds are just up here in the tall grass, just off the road. The tall grass will make them a little tricky. They are pretty small animals, so it make them a little tricky to spot. Got to really work at it. And once you get an eye on them, you'll see them pop up all over. Now this spot I believe has three mounds and there's usually eight to ten rabbits I'd say around here. That's about the average for the mounds I'd say about eight to ten. And this is a good spot. Uh, if you get close enough, you could probably use a shotgun. I don't have that equipped with me today, but I like to use the 22. It's it's pretty good. Rather than sneaking up right close, you can get a few shots off from a range with this 22 and get your target pretty good. biggest trick with these things is they like to move quite a bit so you gotta kinda wait for them to group together especially with this 22 and try to get a few if you can if you're good enough quick enough shot There we are, we managed to get two. A couple free for all shots there. I think we barely got that last one.
But anyways, this is the last spot for the hunt today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the page. We'll quickly check out our rabbits here. Uh, couple little guys. Barely nicked this one. And you guys have a good day.